Welcome back to Skitty Automotive. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a little bit heavier stuff. I'm in New York. Um, upstate New York, up above between Buffalo and Rochester. I'm at uh, my dad's house. Uh, he's got a 2012 Ford F-150. But we're going to be putting a new radio in here. He bought this down in South Carolina. I bought it for him. And um, radio didn't work. So I saw on uh, somebody did it. You take the the, ho the whole thing out here, and what happens is the solder, the the electrodes come through, and the solder they they just dry and they separate. So all you do is put it in the oven for like 250 degrees, and it will remelt that. It was a 50 50 shot. It didn't work. So he drove all the way back from. You know, a 12 hour trip with no radio. Oh, I couldn't do that. Close the door here just in case there's a little air noise. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I, I got one that came in the mail. Um, it's a touch screen, navigation and all that. That's what we're gonna be working on today. Um, camera, not doing very good. I have you propped up in the headrest cause I couldn't uh, get on the plane with a uh, Three days later. Tripod. So, so what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to pull this out. Uh, I took this out, popped this out. This is the USB and auxiliary plugs. And then I'm just going to pop these off here real quick. Get that out of the way. And then I got right up here. Take a little handy dandy thing. In. Right up here there's a... Uh, this little rubber, little rubber piece, take that out. Two more seven millimeters right here. And then just letting you know it's like 35 degrees. A little different than uh, our South Carolina weather. Okay, now, pretty sure that's all ready to come out, but we just gotta take these and we gotta pop this out. Out. Okay, that's all we gotta do there. And the same on this side. We're just popping it out. And all this does is to pop this out. And just so we can get into. Oh, come on. Come on. Son of a gun. Now this just pops out. Stop it. Unplug that. Unplug this. Okay. And we're just going to unplug a couple of these right here. And then we got to take and uh, pull that out. Just pulling these plugs out right here. Sometimes a little bit of there. 
There we go. Pull this out. So what I'm going to do is, you can see back here, I'm not going to really show this. Um, I'm going to skip through it back. Next video, the next part you're going to see is I'm going to already have this over, switched over. So we got to take this out. And then we got to take this out and this out. And then this whole thing, we got this is going to get relocated to down here. And then these are down here that are going to go into the new. And same with that. So there. So we do have to take this out though. So might as well do that while we're right here. Again, there's four seven millimeter screws right here. And this new radio, it will cover this. I don't know if you have to take this one out. I don't think so. I think it'll go, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I start taking it apart. When I pull the other one over here, if it don't fit right, then I'm gonna have to take this out, which I don't really wanna do, but it's a little bit more, I think I gotta take more stuff out be a new plug for that well that get that out of the way okay so i'm gonna go inside wow big gaping hole here i was looking at a full screen all here and all these plugs would be plugged into it but i don't know if anybody has this but they're you know when you get to an age like my age uh your parents if they're still alive i you know Hope they are. I, I have my dad still left. My mom has passed on to heaven. And um, they don't know how to do technical technology. So it, I thought if I put that whole thing, thing, he would never figure it out. As it is, this is a touch screen with all this. He's going to have a hard time figuring it out anyways. But I've a radio is different than a heat. You got to have the heat and everything going. So... Okay, next I'll uh, come back with you here in a second and I'll get this all switched over and then we'll figure out the plugging because there's no directions on this. Okay, so this is for the GPS. This has got to go probably down here. So that means I got to take... This off, and then, then I got this. This is the uh, backup camera. And then I've got to run this wire from here to the back of the truck. I don't know if you know this, but it's cold outside. So. I gotta start taking this, this apart. I got microphone. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put that. Um, I might see if I can put it right in this slot right here. I don't know, right there. But let's try to take this apart. Oh, okay. Got my tools.
Okay, so off camera, I put the GPS over here in the corner on the windshield, ran that wire through here. It's over a scent right here. Uh, then on the microphone, I got this up here, ran that. That's right here. So I'm finishing putting that in through here. I'm just kind of getting that stuff ran so I can put the dash back together. You know, just in case I have to wait till tomorrow, you know, I have something to drive. Because tomorrow morning, I'm going to go to go to church and uh, I need something to drive. So I'm going to be driving this. So that's it. Okay. So these, this is for your um, backup camera. So you plug this in, then you put this on a hot, so a remote wire, piggy tail that in there, and then this goes back to the back, plugs into here, this, so this is your power and negative. So your power, you hook up to your backup camera, or your backup lights. So you're going to hook up that. And then you can ground it out anywhere back there in the tail light. And then bring this over, which hooks into here to give this power. And that's what gives it power when you put it in reverse. The reverse light comes on. That's what gives this power. So, and then I think I got a spot. Maybe it might be enough there to. So I'm going to take the plate off. I'm going to put this down and put the plate on, see where it is, and then screw that. So there, that's my dad. His name's Rick. That's where I learned all my stuff. So, my phone went dead, and um, I just finished it up. I was pretty close to being there anyways. Uh, the backup camera it took me a little bit, but let's start this up and check it out here. So, if you see it, it's pretty nice. Um, go to car radio. Don't want to really it works i don't want to play anything because copyright but everything's back in everything works you know and it fits in here really nice other than that junk that was in here before so this feature right here 
So if I open the door, watch. Headlights come on. It's just weird. I turn the headlights on. The headlights right here come on. Miles per hour works. Didn't work on none of the other. Just weird. So I got that all installed. Um, let's see here. Backup camera works. You can see the ball. Tailgate's down. But the sensor's going off. But everything works. So that's it for this one. Um, I have... The, I'm going to do probably a walk around here. Maybe once I get to my brother's house in Rochester. I'll get there and do a walk around of the truck. Um, just to let you know, the 04 that I came up here to get... It's rotted. It's just like New York rot that uh, that is normal, you know. But it has a 5.3 in it, LS motor. So, no matter what, I could either put a new body on it, because it is four-wheel drive, frame's good, all that stuff's good, it's just the body's rotted. Um, but, um, LS could go into anything, you know what I mean? If Pink Skitty go down the road and that 351 Windsor, you know, starts getting wore out. We can always go LS. I don't want to because I want to stay with a Ford True, but, you know, it is always there. Or maybe I'll do a body swap onto something. Maybe put something on this body that is not meant to be four-wheel drive. Never know. Uh, but right now it's going to be my daily driver, and I'll do a walk around on that um, here after a while. So, thank you for watching uh, Skitty Automotive, and you have a blessed day.